walking around. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop, don't stop. <laughs> Have you had any backlash at all being out? Or, um... I mean, to be perfectly honest, even if I had, it wouldn't make any difference. You know, for me, first and foremost, like, I, I have to be who I am. And if that resulted in less sort of success, and I say success because it honestly wouldn't be success to me if I had to lie about who I was or, or keep that. You know, I'm, I'm lucky enough that I grew up in an era where it was possible. It might not be common, but it's possible. And it just never occurred to me to be in the closet. And I would never want anybody else to live that way. I, I believe that I, I know that I have received so much more positive things, so much more support, so much more encouragement, so many more kind of wonderful people and wonderful energy and wonderful career opportunities because... I was just open about who I was and, and I think that society is ready for that and I think America is ready for that and I think the progress that we see you know, every week and every month um, legally and socially and things like that show that so we just, we just had to keep pushing forward and we need as many people to be as, as many people and as a diverse a range of people as possible to be as visible as, as they feel they can be and I actually consider myself to be lucky to be able to be a part of that movement. We're working on season six of True Blood right now, so I'm reprising my role as Lilith, who's the uh, the goddess of all vampires. So I mean, that's kind of <laughs> it's kind of a thrilling role to play. It's a lot of pressure to be the goddess of all vampires. I know, right? <laughs> Everyone's like, well, how did you how did you cope with being naked? And I'm like, naked wasn't the issue. Like, doing justice to the concept of Lilith, that was the pressure, okay? Like, a body is just a body. But to be the goddess of those of those vampires, we're not even talking about kind of little prissy, like, sanitized vampires. We're talking the true blood vampires. That's no joke. I really sort of, I did research on her, and, you know, there's a lot of different um, theologies and sort of uh, historical representations of her, and she's slightly different in each one. And obviously the true blood version is different as well. Um, but what, my, what I really took away from her is whether she's considered good or evil or anything like that, depending on where in history and what the interpretation of a strong, powerful woman was in history, because that, that's always key, was just that she's primeval and she just has an innate sense of power and presence and, 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 and embodies that and, and moves through her world in that way. And I think to a slightly lesser degree, I mean, we're, we're not goddesses, but I, but I think that's such a wonderful thing and would hope that we as women could, could sort of walk like that in our lives in general. Um, so I just kind of tried to kind of bring that essence to her. Um, Superpower. Yeah, superpower. Just like, yeah, don't don't f with me. Or I'll rip your head off. <laughs> Thank, you so Thank you so much. Have a great night.